welcome back to Anderton's TV. Hello. Today we are looking at putting together a really affordable pedal board. Hey pudding. And this is our video about why we think these are the five essential kind of pedals for your first pedal board. Now, uh, before <laughs> we even talk about pedals, uh, you're going to need a couple of things in our opinion. A pedal board, of course you could just find a piece of wood and make this out of wood, yeah, rubber, but you can buy this particular pedal board. Uh, this is a brand called Ordo that we stock. It's the smallest pedal board they make. It comes in a gig bag as well. So the idea is, is once all your pedals are on it and wired in, you just put it in the gig bag, take it around with you like that. Mm -hmm. It's about 50 quid, links will be below. You're also going to need a power supply. Now, yes. you can spend a fortune on power supplies you if you want to, and absolutely, if you do it the way we've done it, the cheapest way, you may find that uh, some of the background noise on the pedals is a little higher than it would be if you yes. bought a more expensive power supply. Yes. But this is, I can't, I'm plugged in now. At this end, we'll it's just a screen. normal nine volt power supply. We've chosen a, a power supply that gives a thousand milliamps because what's going to happen is the more pedals I put on simultaneously, the more draw there'll be on that power supply and you don't want a power supply that's going to run out. Yes. Um, we've also got attached to it, this thing is a daisy chain sort of power splitter, this particular one. So what happens is here, that's the end of my normal nine volt power supply. The, the splitter just plugs onto the end of it and then it splits the power. I think this one's doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven or eight different Ooh. pedals. Importantly on pedals, when you're looking at them, they'll all, or most pedals will be nine volt. That's fine. You can run as many nine volt pedals off of one power supply as you like, but they will each have a milliampage draw. And mm. if you add the draw of each pedal up, if you want to have them all on simultaneously, you need to make sure that your power supply has enough yeah. milliamps. Most, uh, most overdrive pedals don't draw more than seven or eight, yeah, exactly. seven, 20 milliamps. When milliamps. you get into digital pedals, yeah, so there's yeah. a bit more of a draw. Yeah. Um, you'll also notice we have uh, four of these. These are called patch cables. They're basically just the same as a guitar cable. They're mm. just very short. Yeah. Um, They're really cool, those ones. They're only balls, by the way, those ones. Yes. Links below for that. So we uh, use these a lot. These are what are called flat sort of headed um, jack uh, cables. So what happens if you've got pedal boards squished right together on your board and they have sowed, sowed sowed mounted, sowed. side mounted uh, jack sockets. If you use a, a pedal like this, as you can see, you can get the pedals really close together. Um, hey, do you remember the little ones? There was one thing and you just, they were in the, the whole, yes. it was a, um, where's they, where's, where did they go? Anyway. I had all my boss pedals squeezed in anyway. So that's what you're going to need regardless of how you put this uh, together. Just for your information, today's video, we are using a Boss Katana 50 on its clean setting. EX. We are using the reverb from the amplifier and that's why there's no reverb on our board. We're assuming that your guitar amp has reverb and we are using the uber popular, available in right and left-handed uh, Squire FSR Tele in purple, which yeah. I believe you can only buy from Anderton's. Yeah. Because of course we have the worldwide copyright on, on the purple. color purple. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, back to our today. video. So Mr. Pete, yes. what is our first pedal? Tuna. <laughs> Bluefin. <laughs> I hope you're line cord. responsibly fishing. Yes, line well cord, done. Line cord, bluefin, tuna, sandwich. Mm. Didn't I read somewhere the other day that some massive tuna sold for like a million dollars? I, I wouldn't be surprised. Sort of super yeah. restaurant thing. I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, you're right. This is not a fish. This is a pedal that you use to tune your guitar. Uh, and why do we like pedal tuners over headstock tuners, Mr. Pete? Because they'll mute your signal when you're not playing. Uh, so, and lots of them have got different features, such as a different pitch, and, and you know, if you want to tune up to 435 or whatever. So there's lots of more things in them. And you know, it's, it sits on your board, you can do it with a foot, you don't have to clip it on, turn it on, it's right down there, it's, yeah. it's cool. So this is good. Now, yeah. had we had uh, today the Landlord tuner pedal, yeah. uh, we would have put that on the board because that's 29 pounds yes. and it's basically the same sort of functionality. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't have that in stock, so we used an Electro Harmonics one, which is 49 pounds and very good too. And there are loads that's of cool. pedal tuners out yeah. there, you good know, value. Boss and TC and everything like that. Lots. Can we just see what it does? Yes. There you are, look. It's uh, an automatic chromatic tuner, so it knows Pete's played the E, A, D, G, B, E strings. Green shows you if you're in tune, and the red is either flat if you're that side, sharp if you're that side. Boom! Pedal tuner, easy peasy. Um, now, next, we decided that for five essential pedals, you have to have two overdrive pedals on here, 
one low gain, one mid gain, yes. and then when the two are stacked together, equals high gain, okay? I don't think there is a bigger choice of overdrive pedal than any other category of pedal. Does no, there's that, quite a few. Make sense? There's quite a few. There are hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of overdrive pedals. Five to, five to one or 10 to one or something. We, uh, we, prior to shooting this video, grabbed about 10 sort of popular uh, lower gain or yep. low and medium gain overdrive pedals and ended up liking these two stacked together. But you can go on your own journey on that one and find your own uh, vibe. So the Tone Sweet Cream City. by Tone City is a low gain sort of fattening up pedal and without mm -hmm. It's a good pedal, man. It's a great pedal. It's really nice dynamics to it as well. So yeah, it absolutely. Yeah. Soft. If I'm on a neck pickup here, I got one of bricks. I didn't want to play the last it's, chord. It's quite a, so yeah, quite Top a wide right range of tones, but we're using this predominant as our sort of um, pedal to fatten things up yeah. and lower gain yeah. stuff. A little bit of bluesy. Uh, yeah, it could be anything from bluesy. You could go maybe Hendrixy or even yeah, Chili Peppersy kind of all those sort of you know, ed edge of breakup kind of tones. Yeah. Right, uh, I'm going to demo the next one and then demo how they work both together. So next we want to go something a bit higher gain. So Golden Plexi has been the best selling Tone City pedal ever Great since pedal. it first came out. Yeah. I, I've got some funny feeling that there must be about 10,000 Golden Plexi owners out there. Really? Yeah, it's just nuts. But anyway, so this sounds wow. like this. Now you'll notice nice that tone. Both, on both both these pedals, we're using lower gain settings. The, the gain control is the illuminated one in the middle. And that's because I want, to use, I want to be able to stack them together. And if I turn them, either of them up full and try and stack them together, they do kind of overload a little bit. But now what we can do is have both together. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm glad you dropped tuned there, Pete, because actually it was much more evident, I think, how much fatter it sounds when yeah. both are together. Yeah. Both these pedals are about 40 quid. Um, there we are. Good pedals together. Uh, and, uh, do you know, I've realized as well, we've gone a bit overboard with Tone City pedals here. It, we have, it, I just looked is, at that. Like, it is our favorite kind of low cost brand, if you like, at Anderson's. The drive's it's, so good. It's a, so it's a the brand that, pedals are yeah, we met, we met the Tone City guys. It's a really small company based out of China. We met these guys about, Oh, it must be coming up for 10 years ago now. And the, it's, a, I said, still a lot of the pedals are the original pedals from yep, 10 years ago. Yep. And they're just good. Yep. Uh, anyway, the Angel Wing, winner of many, many uh, chorus pedal shootouts. Mm. So our fourth pedal is a chorus pedal. Chorus belongs to a family of pedals called modulation. Uh, could include uh, flanges, phasers, v vibes, Vibrato. all kinds of stuff. Yes. Um, tremolo. tremolo. Jinx. And to a certain extent, I guess they all have their place. Yep. You might have a preference of one over the other. We've Sorry. probably just picked chorus. Here you go, have thank a tune. You, thank you, thank you. Uh, we've probably just picked chorus because it's, I suppose, the, the, the most popular one. Uh, but uh, here is a sound. Chorus, I think, lovely over a clean sound, over a driven sound. Maybe it gets a bit 80s. Yeah, but, uh, but then you can take the drive downs so and you just have a little bit of crunch. I don't think I should play any more of that, so I'll play something else, but... Um...
You could get the wobble on as well. I could get wobble, the wobble, wobble on if you... It's very Donald Fagan, isn't it? Nightfly. Mother, just that is a there. good. Album. Anyway, come on, let's move anyway, on. Right, okay. All the young viewers have just switched off, Pete. They switched um, off when we talked about the tuna. So this is the Angel Wing, and then finally, <laughs> uh, of course, uh, you want a little bit of delay, right? So delay is there, or echo, as some people call it. Oh, I want to make that. And this is one is a digital oh, delay. You can was... get analog delays. You can get digital delays. You can get you know yeah. all sorts of. So stuff we've we've features. chosen the TC Profit. Uh, uh, Tone City don't do a digital delay. Uh, they just do an analog delay. So the the TC Profit is a really affordable these are again I think most of these are, no, these are all about 50 quid I think wow That's like an old Albert Lee kind of thing when he's uh, obviously a bit Pink Floydy as well. Well, you can um, do all sorts of stuff with that. Quickly. I would normally go with, I normally end up with like a three or four hundred millisecond delay, subtle repeats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and just, just a use little... it as like a lead solo kind of boosty thing. So I'd probably have a slightly lower mix. And then, yeah, repeats, and then right? less repeats. And I... I'd use that as a like a something for a solo, so you know. You know what we should do to sort of end this video? We should have uh, Tay and Oz to just shout out five famous genres or tunes or artists or whatever. Oh, thanks for that. And then we should literally just go play an iconic riff and all we're allowed to do is just turn on uh, combinations of these pedals. First one, please. John Marr. <clears throat>
And finally... Red Hot Chili Peppers! Peppers, 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 peppers! <laughs> Well, there you are, everybody. Five <laughs> extremely affordable pedals on a very affordable uh, pedal board and a super affordable power supply solution, proving that you can do a lot with a couple of drive pedals, a chorus, and a delay. And a super affordable amp, you know. Obviously, you need some talent as well. But hey, I can't <laughs> sell you that, unfortunately. Uh, right, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Absolutely. Hit the notification bell. That too. <laughs> See you in another video soon. Bye-bye.